As France is left reeling after a series of attacks in Paris killed over 120 people, many in the U.S. have voiced solidarity. The U.S. has suffered attacks before. In September 2001, two planes hijacked by Islamist militants flew into the World Trade Center's Twin Towers in New York, killing nearly 3,000 people. Here, the new One World Trade Center is lit up in blue, white and red, the colors of the French flag. San Francisco's City Hall followed suit. As the French flag in New York is lowered to half-mast, people gather outside the French consulate in Washington, D.C. It, it really touches your heart when you see that many innocent people gone, and we felt that we should come and just show respect to the French people. We are not going to let them stop us, you know. We're just going to continue doing what we usually do, you know, every day, and we don't want them to think that we're afraid of it. We just have to keep going. Paris suffered nearly simultaneous gun and bomb attacks on Friday night across the city. Bataclan, a popular concert venue, was the deadliest. It is the second time in less than a year that France and the world are asking how carnage could strike at the heart of the much-loved city. Many leaders around the world have voiced support for France. Obama has called it an attack on all of humanity. New York, Boston and other cities in the U.S. have bolstered security, though saying it's precautionary rather than a response to any specific threats.